You attack from the south! Chris, go with me! Double! Hey! You two, take that road! Come here this way! Sheriff, I want to talk to you. What about? Just speak up, Colin. Well, Sheriff, I don't like the way you've been acting, see? What do you mean by that? All right. Let me put it another way. I want you to keep your nose out of my business. Do you expect me to join up with your bunch so I can help you? Well, that's worth considering. Well, thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> Sheriff! I think you should watch your step. <laughs> now, where in the hell are they? Ah, yes. The Norton's, 125 of them. McDonald's got 200, and Richardson's got 180. 500 and five heads of cattle. And with the heads of cattle, that's already left. That'll make around 800. Hmm. How does that sound? Pour me a drink, Paquita. This time, we're going to get rich. Here. A pity we have to divide it with, uh, you know who. See, si, Manuel. Everything's taken care of. I, uh, I had a little talk with the sheriff. Yeah, I told him to watch himself very carefully, I did. Well, if it was up to me, I would have eliminated the man. Yeah? Well, you've been wrong again. The sheriff is the kind of guy you have to understand. <laughs> Besides, he hasn't given much trouble, so why kill him? <laughs> it's our friend, Bradley. Hmm? Oh, he finally made it, huh? The boss sent you this, man. Well, it's your cut. Where's the rest? That's all there is, Manuel. 10,000 bucks is all I get. There's around 800 head of cattle. There's been a mistake, Bradley. Now, where's the rest? I didn't put anything in my pocket. Well, I had a few drinks, sure, but that's all. You know how it is. Road gets kind of dusty. I'm fed up. Senor, you think I'm a fool? Only work we have been doing, and this is how he pays. We have to break our backs, and the boss cleans up. It's not enough. Well, that was the deal, Manuel. The man took advantage of me. I had gotten into a bad position. And don't you forget it, Manuel. If he had wanted to, he could have thrown all of us into jail. See, si, but when can I hope to finish paying his debt? Now listen, there's an old Chinese proverb that says it's a folly to royal up the water. It's much better letting it stay calm. Ah, uh, why don't you go to hell, you and your proverbs? Yeah, I, I guess I'll have to. Ah, you are loco. What are you saying, that all we have to do is just wait? That's all we have to do. Just wait, and we'll get our revenge. Mm. Anything else? Oh, yeah, tomorrow the Lameda stagecoach is gone. It's carrying valuables. Do you know how many guards? He ain't got none. He ain't, huh? Better let our guys do it. <laughs>
Yes? Yes, what is it? Excuse me, sir. I've got a man out here who says he's from Lanford City. Show him in, Sergeant. Good morning, Sheriff. Good morning to you, sir. I'm Bill Harris, Sheriff of Lanford City. Lanford City. Lanford City. Now, why don't you sit down, Sheriff? Ah, here it is. It's right near the border with Mexico, isn't it? That's right, Major. Uh, the closest city to it is Lameda, the first Mexican city across the river. You know, Harris, one of my men is from Lanford City. Yeah? Might even have known him there, huh? Bring Captain Jackson in. Mike Jackson. Do you know Mike? Uh, sure, Mike's no pal of mine. <laughs> Why, well, I remember his dad and his mother well. Why, even when he was a little kid, he wanted to join up. I always knew that sooner or later he would join the Army. How about that? <laughs> he finally made it, huh, Major? Yes, indeed. He's one of my best officers. Come in, Sergeant. Ah, Captain Jackson. We've got a visitor from your hometown. That's quite a surprise. Sure has been a long time, hasn't it? Has there been much of a change in the old city? Ah, it sure has, Mike. If you went back now, you wouldn't recognize it. You remember how it was, tranquil, the friendliest town in the West, but now people are leaving town left and right. Yes, but aren't you still the sheriff of Lanford City? Mm -hmm. Then how come you're having all this trouble back there, I want to know? I need help. That's why I came here. Bill, what's going on? Well, everything, I guess. You see, once Lanford City and Lameda were thriving cities, the people were all happy and they lived and worked together. And one day, a bunch of outlaws came and made a mess of our little city. I tried to control them when they got there. But there was too many. I couldn't possibly stop them. I was helpless. Well, it was about then they began buying cattle at their own prices. The whole community was caught in sort of a trap. Before anyone could do anything at all, boom. They put all that work into bringing up their cattle, and look what happened. But how could they do this? Well, they did it legally. You see, the way it happened was... They set up a regular company. And, of course, the settlers were scared to go against them? Yep, I'm afraid so. Those that did try to go against them were used as, well, examples. They'd burn up the stock. And by and by, they began selling. And at the prices, the crooks sat down, a lot of settlers got scared and moved away. So when I heard about this regiment coming to this area, I figured, well, they just might help. You know, I should reprimand you for not uh, reporting this immediately to the federal government. The whole situation has gotten out of hand. But that's just what I did. I reported it immediately to the federal government. Why, as a matter of fact, uh, two or three days later, a fellow did come to town, James Klinger. He talked to me, asked around a little, stayed about a month, then uh, mysteriously disappeared out of town. Never saw him again. Murdered? I'm not sure, but I guess it's possible. Well, can you help me? I sure could use a little help, you know. Mm -hmm. No, I'm very sorry, Sheriff. I must refuse you, sir, even though I would like to help you clean up Lanford City. Don't you see the position I'm in? I have my orders, and that's why I'm here. And nothing you could say would change him any. There's going to be an uprising soon, and I'm here to forestall it if I possibly can. Sir, excuse me, sir, but I could go. Alone? Yes, sir. Not in this uniform, that is. No disrespect meant, sir. It's just that I feel safer wearing something else. And I do know that vicinity extremely well, like the back of my hand. What do you say, sir? I see. Very well, you have my permission. I'll give you one week. You may leave when you're ready to go. Don't get reckless and stay any longer. I want you back at the fort in one week, and that's an order. Yes, sir, thank you. Sheriff, let's go. Hmm. Uh, thank you, Major. Pleasure. Sheriff, I think it'd be better if you went back to Lanford City. Captain All right. uh, Jackson. Yes, sir? Look, Mike, uh, while you're about it, I want you to find out what happened to uh, James Klinger. Yes, sir, I'll find him, sir. And if Good. he's dead, you can be sure I'll find his killer. And if he isn't, I promise you, sir, that I'll bring him back alive.
listen, I'm only going to tell you one more time. There's no company around that can offer you a fairer deal than our company can offer you. And you know it, all of you. Now, it's a crying shame that you haven't sold your cattle yet. And we know you want to. That's why we guarantee the sale of cattle at prices that can't be beat. So get smart. Claire, you two come with me. Dad! Carol! Oh, Dad, I'm so glad to see you. Uh, Carol. Uh, it's good to see you too, honey. Here, uh, give your old oh, dad a hug. Oh. <laughs> come, you're glad your old dad's come back. Oh. I got fed up sleeping on those big stars at night, honey. So I came back from my house and my daughter is. You sure look good. Where's Richard? Oh, poor Richard. Well, he went to talk to the Greenwater Valley Company. Oh. Well, now, I heard about them. Did he get taken in as well? Well, Pa, I don't know. It seemed like a good idea. Then we discovered we'd been cheated, so Richard went to the man who sold him the contract. Now I'm afraid Richard won't come back. We'll see about that. Damn thieves. Where in town nation they ever get the idea they could cheat old Ted Senator? I'll make him take that old contract back, honey. <clears throat> Now, don't you worry your pretty little head about it. I'll be back. All right, you high-handers. Where are you? You cheated me out of cattle. Yeah, we'll, we'll show you what we do with loudmouth. Hey, me! What's the matter with you, Richard? You lost your head? The company gave you a normal contract. Now, what else do you want? Liars! I've been cheated. I want that contract back now. Give it to me! What the hell? I'll give it to you, old rat. Here, we'll take it. Let me get it. Yeah. Or you're not enjoying yourself. I thought you'd gotten used to this already. I'll never get used to this kind of life. Think you're going, Richard? <laughs> you better hand over that contract you stole, man. I guess that beating ain't improved your integrity, has it? Now give me that contract if you want to get home alive. And if you know anyone else with the same idea, best tell him not to try it. It could get unhealthy. <laughs> I guess that'll even the scar.
Mike, you... Yeah, who shot you, Richard? Relax now. Who did it? Those bastards got me. They got me good. Went into town. Oh, Jesus. Come on, take it easy. Who shot you? Colin did it. I went for the contract. But he got me. And he shot me. Oh. So that's who did it. Don't worry, we'll take care of you. You're going to be all right. Get me to my house, Mike. Sure, sure. I... I guess I figured wrong, huh? Yeah. If I'm going to die... Let it be. Let it be. On my own land. Let me help you. Oh, oh I knew it. I knew it. I knew it was going to end up that way. Is he going to be all right? Poor Richard. Get me the bandages. Yes. Yes, right away. Here. Here, use this. Why did this have to happen? I should have gone right after them damn crooks. I wouldn't let you. Don't worry about that now, mister. He's lost a lot of blood. However, I think we can save him. You know, it's a good thing I came along when I did. My name's Mike Jackson. It's our pleasure. I knew you're dead very well. Make sure he lies absolutely still. I will. Otherwise, the wound might start bleeding again. Thank you for helping me with my husband. He's a friend of mine, Mrs. Curtis. Now, don't you worry, he's... Going to get well. And oh, uh, I wouldn't mention my real name to anyone around these parts. God bless you, my son. Hmm. Isn't a guy supposed to say hello when he comes into a strange town? Only speak to my friends. And you ain't a friend, friend. Well, isn't that too bad? Listen, if you take my advice, you'd better haul your ass on out of here. That's assuming you know what's good for you. I heard you, mister. I figure you don't take to me, do you? Nope. Not me, nor my friends. You seem to be expecting trouble. Might be at that. But we're a peace-loving kind of people. Sympathetic, loyal, a big, glorious family. <laughs> what about that fellow you almost killed today? How's that? I'll bet he didn't agree with you.
you, Father. You. What do you want? I've come to see you about what happened. It's pretty bad, huh? I hope he pulls through. Get out of here, you son of a... Don't you talk to me like that. Sure, I shot him, and I should have killed him, and you'd have been a, a whole lot better off, I can tell you. I fancy you. Why don't you forget about him? You know what you are. You're a no good. Now get out of here. Get out. Take a look. Open good, Colin, or, or I'll blow your brains out. We're through talking. Get out or I'll change my mind. That's what you think. Mike. I, uh, I'd like to thank you for everything you've done. That's all right. Why, that's what your friends are for. Mike. Well... I've got a lot of things to do back in town. Yes, I understand, Mike. Be careful. You're like one of the family now. Come on in. So that stranger's still alive, huh? Yeah. He murdered three of our hombres. Yeah, I know. Uh, he ain't a bad shot. That isn't funny, my friend. I want him to be taken care of. You understand? Mm-hmm. 
And where is he? Well, I ain't positive, but uh, I think he'll show some place around here. Now, you finish him once and for all. And you better take some of the boys with you. I want him dead. I'd like to face that guy alone, understand? All right, but don't miss. I'll fix him. So you're a whore now. Oh, shameless bitch. You sure have changed a lot, you little hussy. Sticking with them lousy crooks, are you? No, I'm not what you think. I'm not at all. I'll tell you if you only listen to me a minute. Oh, Mike, I know they're a bunch of lousy crooks and they've been forcing me to work. Don't you understand? But I... What must I understand? Your beautiful clothes? Your new jewelry? Hm. Or perhaps I should understand the wonderful company you're keeping. You mean to hurt me? Sure. You hurt me very much. Sure did, Mary. Well, I'll never forget it. It's finished, all right. Why do you say that? You know I had to do that. You made your own decision, as I recall. Now, why don't you go? Why did you come in here, anyhow? Because, you see, I wanted to get some information out of you. I figured as long as you were with these bandits, you could be of some help. Yep, I kind of think you could be useful. I already told you I'm not in with those crooks. I know you'll never believe me. It's the truth, though. You can think what you like, treated like, like a prisoner. They're only interested in Father's silver mine. But really, he didn't tell me where it's at. All right, come on now. I'm sorry for what I did. Uh, look, why don't you tell me all about it? Mary, what did happen to your daddy? It's mine. What is the story behind it, anyhow? Go ahead. Tell me. About two or three months ago, I, I've been at my desk, and, and Dad was working when we suddenly had a visitor. Yes, Mary. There's a federal agent here, Dad, a Mr. Klinger. Oh, been expecting him. Mr. Klinger? Bill Bryan. James Klinger. Pleasure. Uh, Mary, would you uh, mind leaving us alone, dear? No, of course not. In case you might need me for anything, just call out, OK? Mm. And you mustn't forget to take your medicine, dear. You take your next dose in about an hour. Uh, all right, I promise I won't forget. <laughs> now run along. Well, let's make ourselves comfortable. Oh, daughters. But where would I be without her? <laughs> Won't you sit down, sir? Yes, daughters are a blessing. Here are my credentials, sir. No need for that, sir. I've been in town about two days. You realize I'm looking at the situation. Your sheriff's been quite a help in the last two days. And you can imagine just how rough it's been, especially for all our good people here. Why do you realize that the Greenwater Valley Company practically owns our town? Hmm. Yes, that's just the way I see it. Mr. Bryan, sir, there's one thing that seems to be kind of strange. You, out of all the people in this town, you've managed quite easily to be the only person, as I understand, that this gang hasn't touched. Why? Now, hold on. You think perhaps I'm the one who bosses this bunch of ruthless bandits, mister? Let me show you something, sir. I trust your discretion. Why, thank you, Mr. Bryan. Hmm. What I'm going to show you is a very old map. It shows the location of a silver mine. This is what they're after. You know what? been said as one of the largest there is. And this document is a Spanish land grant, sir, yes, and it's all in order. Well, sir, I certainly tried very hard to keep it a secret. My daughter, I thought, was the one who knew. However, those lousy crooks had, uh, had gotten wind of the mine somehow or other, and now they want a partnership. And what did you do? Refuse it, I suppose. Oh, yes, I told them they could go fly a kite, Mr. Klinger, sir. I haven't got much time in this world, and I'd appreciate it if you would, you'd make sure that my Mary is looked after. She inherits the mine. Can you give me your word as a federal agent? All right, I promise you, sir. Yes, you have my hand on it. I thank you, sir. No. That same night, a band of Mexicans no, came to our house. Let me go. You're hurting me. Oh, oh let us go. We've done nothing to you. Oh, let us go. Oh, please, please don't hurt me. Oh, 
Where's that map of the silver mine? Come. Oh, God! No! No! Look, I said. Don't. Did you hear me? I can stand there don't. yelling. Get her out of here. Get her out. Oh, Where's your hiding? I said. Oh, now I'm losing me patience. Where is that map hidden? Hidden! No! No! I don't want to go! Take your hands off me, you filthy, rotten pig! I, I want to go back to my bar! What are you waiting for? Let's go! Come on! Let me go! No! No! Well, have you had enough? Now, you're going to tell me where the map of the mine is at, aren't you? Come on, talk! I'll never tell you, you dirty... Dirt, huh? Stupid imbecile. Now he can't talk. The man is dead. Hmm. That's all right. We still have his daughter. They kept me locked up for days on end. Threatening to kill me. After a while, I, I just couldn't take it anymore. Finally, just, just hoping they'd let me go, I, I decided to tell him where the map they were looking for was hidden. I think I'm a, a moron. Hmm? Well, maybe I am. Just what you think you'd gain by sending us to the wrong place. But it's exactly where I told you. Oh, yes, it was there. Exactly where you told us it would be. But it was empty. No, it wasn't. I told you the truth, I swear. Yeah. You know what the others want to do? Hmm? They want to kill you. And well as mean, he wants the mine. But I, I, you're pretty, you're beautiful. I've always wanted a woman like you. Yes, yeah, sure. Yeah. You know what? If you're nice to me, I'll make sure that nobody harms you. You know what I mean. Oh God! No! Story. You see, if I didn't give in, I wouldn't be here. I see. Well, I gotta go now. But I'll be back. Use the back stairs. They're a lot safer. I'll be waiting for you. Good luck. fellow there if it's the description of the man we're looking for. Whiskey. See, si, right away, senor. Here. Mm. All right, fellas, we better get out of here. We got our work all cut out for us now. We can relax after we've finished. Yeah, I'm all ready. Never a moment's mm. peace.
All right, talk. Why'd you ambush me? Uh, don't tell you... Tell me, who hired you to kill me, uh, huh? I don't know. Tell me or I'll kill you right now. Spit it out. Uh, listen, I don't know his name. He's a big fellow. We met him in Lameda. Uh. say, Mike, now that you're here, I shan't be afraid any longer. Good. Be ready to leave in the morning. There's a strange man in Mary's room. They're planning to escape tomorrow morning, and uh, it may be the man that you are after. You better check on him. You really think it is? If it is him, it would make things very simple. Lot better when he's dead. What are you waiting around here for? A written invitation, huh, Colin? I thought our little Mary was your girlfriend, Colin, even though I heard you were seeing Mrs. Curtis. You mustn't overwork yourself, Colin. I just figured that you would be interested. I'm interested, all right. I don't want any more of this chatter. Yeah, I'm interested. That's better. All right, Colin, just be ready tomorrow morning and make sure when they make their attempt to be there. I'm leaving it up to you, Colin. Sheriff helped him. Yep. Well, I was only doing my duty. They ambushed that fellow, Manuel. 
So I helped him out a little. Colin warned you, didn't he, Sheriff? That was a very bad thing you did. I'm gonna give you one more chance, Sheriff, and if you don't cooperate with me, it'll be your finish. Do you understand? See? Get in. <laughs> this man was seen talking to the stranger, and they're uh, mighty friendly-like. Well, speak up, you. Speak up! Uh, uh, What's the matter with you, little boy? Cat got your tongue? <laughs> now, are you gonna tell me who he is, huh? Just stay quiet, Alan. Don't let him bully you. <laughs> Hold your tongue, Sheriff! Come on. Are you gonna talk? Who is this stranger? Where do you know him from? Who is this stranger? Speak up. I, I, I never saw him before in my life. Wanna die, amigo? No. Okay, I know him. He's fast with his gun. What's his name? Come here, I'll twist your head off. Damn you. Well, what's his name? Mike. M Mike Jackson. We were talking, that's all, honest. I want to know where he's going. The Curtis is... He's out at the ranch. Go find him and kill him. We'll do it your way, Manuel. Bradley, let's get the boys together fast. We're leaving right now. You get that? <coughs> Manuel, don't worry about it. I'll make sure he's sorry. All right, come on, let's go. Figure a way out. Listen, Mark, I want you to try to get behind there. Come on. Where are you going, Carol? I have to try and help. when this is all over. How come they're not back yet? The stranger's very difficult to kill. You worry too much, querido. That man hasn't got a chance and you know it. I'm not so sure. I'm worried. That man is a devil. Believe me, he is. Oh, now, do not worry yourself. With all those men you have got, he won't get away, querido. Mm, you're right. He cannot possibly get away. Sure, I always know what's best to Keep on firing. All right, got you.
He's the devil himself. We gotta get out of here. He's right. We've got to get out of here. All right, I better go get Mari. Man, man, well, I've had it. You'll be all right, Bradley. You'll feel better when you get to Lameda. Don't worry about it. Uh, I don't need these things. All right, Mary, get dressed. You're coming with us. Your friend didn't show up. I'm awfully sorry, dear, you didn't get a chance to try your little escape. No, not this time. Go ahead, pull the trigger. I don't care. I'm not going, slut. I knew it would end this way. What happened to my cartridges? Uh, here they are. Hey, Manuel, I'm telling you, I can't hold out any longer. Bradley, hey, Bradley. Well. Open, or I can see you. mysterious man I must track down. I want to find out who he is. Then I'll be back. Okay. Don't forget. Don't you worry, Mary. I won't. Better stay with the Curtises, huh?
So long, take care, Mike. Why can't I beat you once? Never can tell. Your luck may change. Play again? Mm. All right. you here. Well, I tell you, I think you're playing with us, Mr. Klinger. Well, it's like this. I want to find out right now what side you're on. I don't quite follow you. What is it you have in mind? You want me to spell it out? Hmm. All right, I'll make it clear for you. I believed everything you told me that you would give us protection, senor. You said, Manuel, I guarantee to protect you against the intrusion of the United States federal authorities. Well, now you've got your chance. There's a man called Mike Jackson. You got that? Well, in just a few days, he's cleaned up the whole town. And then so I checked and found out who he's working for. It's the army. So that's what's bothering you. Well, let me make this clear to you then, Manuel. If it wasn't for me, the federal authorities would have been here already. I didn't figure that they'd get here yet. But I left you alone so you could run your affairs by yourself, didn't I? Our affairs. Yes, indeed. Our affairs. How about the stranger? Hard to believe the army's interested. It just isn't the kind of thing that would interest those guys, so he's working alone. Explain something else to me. Where is the map to Brian's mine? You told us he had it hidden in his house. But everything was gone over thoroughly. It's funny how it disappeared, isn't it, senor? How about it, huh, Mr. Klinger? Yeah, you're right about that. Yeah. And still in my possession. You... I wouldn't do that. It's put away neatly here in Lameda. How well do you think your outfit was doing before I got here? Not any of you have any real brains. You always start shooting. Every single deal you've had has been handled with guns. Where you should use reasoning, you use violence. You bungled everything. You're incompetent. All you know is killing. And that's not the way. And why did you kill the old man, uh, Mr. Bryan? The poor man couldn't have done anything with his daughter prisoner. Oh, yeah, you fellas are really using your heads. Now, about this Mike Jackson. After all the men you've killed, what the hell's another? You haven't got any other choice, do you? I'll leave it to your own discretion. All this because of you. Is that all? concerning the silver. Well, that mine can mean riches for everyone. I thought how we can tap out that mine without drawing any attention to it. Huh. Don't worry, it'll be there. But there's one thing you must learn. Who'll be running the show? And if you don't want to obey my orders, then get the hell out right now. Ta bien, amigo. I'll stay here. Not I. Manuel. Shut your trap. Now it is my turn to speak, senor Klinger. You haven't said anything about the present, senor. Do you intend to stay here in this cave, Pablo? Living like a dog. And how about this Mike uh, Jackson? You know, he might have followed me here because I wasn't keeping an eye out. Matter of fact, he could be here already. 
You don't know this gunslinger like I do. He is very dangerous, I tell you. Very dangerous. In fact, he is far more dangerous than you are, senor. Manuel, stop it. You don't know what you are saying. I only know I don't want to die here. I've had enough. I'm leaving. If you're coming, let's go. Go after him, Paquita. And see if you can talk a little sense into him. He's always been a coward. The only time he was strong is when he had his gang with him. I was always aware of that. Bueno. Mm hmm But our business was really booming there for a while, so why stop him? I had to replace Manuel sooner or later. Mm. Just a matter of time. Now what? No, well, now there's only the two of us. We split everything. The important thing is that you and your men do exactly as I want you to do. See. Let's go. Uh, what about Senor Jackson? I'll worry about him. All right, Pablo, you know what to do. to come? You're wrong, Manuel. I don't intend to go with you. I was hoping to talk you into returning. If that is the reason why you came, you should have stayed where you were. I'm not changing my mind, Paquita. But you can't go, Manuel. What are you going to do? I'll think of something. But think, Manuel. If what that man was saying isn't a lie, we could become very rich, can't you see? And then you could travel wherever you want, as far as the eye could see. Oh, don't go, Manuel. I would never believe that man. He's only interested in what he can get. And besides, I'm scared. I am afraid to die. I thought my woman would understand me. But I don't want to belong to a no-good, sniveling coward. <coughs> if you ever need me, you know where I can be found. God. Yeah! Manuel is not coming back. I expected that. I've come to take his place. Bueno, come on, let's get out of here. Let's go.
But you're Jackson, aren't you? Come on in, have a seat. And I figure that you must be the gentleman called Klinger. James Klinger. You're right, it makes it very simple, doesn't it? Yes, Klinger, it does make it simple. I've ridden a long way to get here, and I finally meet the big boss. So? So, Klinger, I'm gonna place you under arrest. Okay, but first let's you and I talk. It might be of mutual benefit, wouldn't you say? Of course, you have the upper hand right now. Uh, nothing you might say, Klinger, could be of interest. You haven't heard the offer yet. This is a deal that comes once in a lifetime. And there isn't any great risk on your part, Jackson. All you gotta do is turn right around and go on back. Mm -hmm. You could be a rich man. All that you have to say is that you found me dead. Listen, we got a long way to go. We do. So you better think about moving. Mm -hmm. Now, wait a minute. Hold on. I wanted to talk a little business. Sit down. Relax, friend. There's no sense in our being enemies. Now, how much money do you make, Mike? You know how much I'm offering you. Hmm. Only your half. You know how much that is? More money than you can make in a lifetime. Over a quarter of a million dollars. Not a bad figure, is it, Mike? And something to think over, wouldn't you say, friend? Hmm? Yeah, what a crying shame it is that you turn all that money down. I wish someone would offer me that kind of money. What do you say? Well, Jackson... Is it yes or no? I'll give you my answer. You know what I think? I think it stinks. And so do you. Oh, come off it. You think because you're an official agent, you're better than I am? Let me tell you something. I had that job before you did. Son of a... Get it over you. Just what do you think you're doing? Ow. Klinger, we'll see. For the moment, you haven't got anyone. It won't be for long, I promise you. Damn your hide. Yeah, sure.
down your gun, or the boogeyman will get you. Jackson! Jackson, why did you come here? I came here to warn you. Oh. That's why he's coming here. He followed you. Oh, stop it, you're hurting me. Are you loco leading him here? I was safe until you came. You and I were the only ones who knew about this place. If you weren't so stupid, he wouldn't have found me. It's all your fault, you bitch. Oh. Oh. Hold it. Maybe I should kill you, but I'm not. Go on, get out of my sight. <laughs> now that was a stupid thing to do, Manuel. Thank <laughs> you. 
I should kill you, Manuel, but somehow it doesn't seem right. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to release you. And you and Paquita may go. You know she loves you very much. You're going to let me go? That's right. I don't believe in unnecessary violence. Go ahead, take her with you. Why in the hell are you waiting around? Go on, get out of here. Eh? Muchas gracias, senor. Emmanuel, just don't let me see you again. My word on it. Good. Uh, this is yours. Adios. Adios. Hey, why the hell don't you kill me? I'm gonna die anyhow. You better save your breath. You'll be needing it, friend. We have a long way ahead of us. <laughs> 